Understanding the phrase, I'd prefer not to. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into a very interesting English phrase, I'd prefer not to. This might seem like a simple phrase, but it's packed with subtlety and nuance. Understanding it fully can really help you in both speaking and comprehending English. So, let's get started. I'd prefer not to is a polite way of saying no to a suggestion or request. It's a contraction of, I would prefer not to. Here, would indicates a conditional mood, suggesting a preference under certain conditions, and prefer is a verb meaning to like one thing more than another. When you say this phrase, you're gently indicating that you would choose not to do something if given a choice. This phrase can be used in various situations. For example, 1. Formal settings. In a business meeting, saying, I'd prefer not to, is a tactful way to decline a suggestion without being too direct. 2. Social situations. When a friend invites you to an event that you're not interested in, saying, I'd prefer not to, is a polite way of saying no without offending them. 3. Subtle refusal. Sometimes, you might want to refuse something without giving a clear reason. This phrase is perfect for such situations. The tone of, I'd prefer not to, is important. It's generally polite and reserved, implying a certain level of formality or distance. This phrase also suggests that the speaker is considering the feelings of the listener, trying not to be too blunt or straightforward in their refusal. Let's compare, I'd prefer not to, with similar phrases. I don't want to, is more direct and can sometimes sound rude or abrupt. I can't, implies a lack of ability or opportunity, rather than a preference. Maybe another time, suggests that you might be willing to do it in the future, which is not implied by, I'd prefer not to. I'd prefer not to is a versatile phrase in English, ideal for politely declining offers or suggestions. It reflects thoughtfulness and consideration for the listener's feelings. We hope this video has helped you understand and use this phrase more confidently in your English conversations. Thank you for watching, and happy learning!